Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos here to react to the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase for June 28th. And uh, I don't really have the biggest expectations for this. It's, just, it's a partner showcase. It's nothing third. Yeah, it's nothing first party. It's entirely third. But Nintendo's third party properties, when they partner with other companies, can be pretty big. Especially when you consider that they have cons they have personally considered stuff like Hyrule Warriors to be a partner showcase property. So that does give us a pretty wide variety of potential options here to see. Hopefully we get some pretty big news. For now, let's jump in and see what they've actually got. Even as somebody who knows relatively very little about Monster Hunter... They got some pretty cool stuff here. And we got our fucking Super Saiyan 8 back. Nice. Another Still game. think peak Monster Hunter boss design Wandering is, uh... Plans. Ah, forgetting the name of it, but the, uh... The evil bone-wearing squid. Invaders so I guess it would make sense to update this for Switch. Battle Clearly, Android Yoko Taro is generally a big Minus Nintendo fan Android and just loves having his stuff on their consoles two key members manage of this squad. What the hell is this, then? Suddenly reminding me of, uh, Layers of Fear. Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal oh, nope. riddles and this a chilling new. story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. Oh, this is very new. Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first Ooh, for consoles on Nintendo actually... Switch next year. That actually looks very intriguing. I might have to play that. Familiar faces are making a splash in these games. Oh shit, Bomberman's back. A new back. Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. This time, a bombastic new mode called All right. Castle Mode enters the fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast their way to the treasure chest. Haven't seen these guys in a long while. while. One defending player tries to hold them off. I still Set remember playing. To blow away My personal Literally, favorite Bomberman game is still. And share your own battle stages. Uh, I'm forgetting the exact Bomberman title of it. There was a Bomberman adventure Switch style game. Year. On the Sega Genesis. Ten Mega Man Battle Network games originally released on the Game Boy Advance that system are coming. It to wasn't Nintendo a versus Switch. game. It Control was all fighting your way through a huge collection of levels, and really creative bosses. This collection includes a gallery with over one And meanwhile, we are getting that Mega Man and a music mode containing over one hundred and fifty songs from across the series. Mega Man Battle Network People have been begging Legacy for this, and I know my buddy Switch Ben is going to be very, very the happy about it. The collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2, each sold separately. Oh, two A volumes, okay. Pac-Man World is coming soon. Wow, Pac-Man Pac World, family seriously? Pac-Man's been kidnapped. To rescue them, he sets off for Ghost Island. Even and the remake actually looks pretty good. Here. Trounce enemies with Pac-Dots. The rev roll... The butt bounce and a giant Pac-Man from high-speed chases to galactic escapades. You'll explore okay. all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac fan. I heard this in game was like Recap. shockingly good. Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. And had some Two crazy speed running tech apparently. One incredible journey. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across oh, this the is snowy cute wilderness already. in the handcrafted world of Blanc. In this emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play. That's just so cute. So all players can enjoy it. That's really cute. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. 
launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch February 2023. Might want to play that. Arr! A swashbuckling adventure returns. Oh. Pirating is in I know my that world. island, and I know that voice. Like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill oh, a dozen Oh, he's scrap. back. I've got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and this is a story about the time I finally found oh. the secret of Monkey Island. Very interesting style. I'm liking that. They've also made... They've also made Guy visibly older. Guy brush three wood. <laughs> it made him visibly older and apparently a uh, a publicly recognized and significant pirate now. The graphic style change is a huge difference. But, despite how drastic of a change it is, I kind of like it. Good old Monkey Island. Okay. Monkey around in return to Monkey Island, launching first. Okay, for I might be doing that for Nintendo channel Switch too. This, this is a really good one so far. Next. Uh. By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is it seems over. Seems a little overpowered Back to have to that range. Let's take out the other of two. Movement pew, pew. for multiple attacks. That concludes his turn. It would probably be better Last if the range least, shrank the Rosalina. further they walked. Team up with an ally and jump. Get positioned, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. Overall, now, pretty great mechanics, though. Be sure to take Mobility is always a really safe. important factor of if any tactical RPG. All right. So having again. so many mobility options Dash toward the bomb. works and particularly well, over, which, yeah. Boom. you know, mobility That'll has always do. been one of the crowning features of any Mario game, so not doing that properly in a third-party title would Wait, be kind of a travesty, even with the massively the changed gameplay Mario style. Plus Rabbids, sparks of hope, rock. Spin dash into a new zone. Ooh, and we're getting some Sonic's frontiers. Sonic's latest adventure kicks off on the vibrant okay. Starfall Islands, home to a mysterious civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone, taking Ooh, full advantage there's some of new Sonic's animations speed there. skills. Lock they're definitely showing newer footage. Standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and new music. And rack up damage. With good timing, you can even deflect That's enemy definitely attacks. Jim's guitar there. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. Ooh. That sounds so good. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Cyberspace levels. Take on challenges at super oh. Sonic speeds and grab keys Was that? to progress. That highway stage, that had to be... What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Oh. Oh, new cuts. Oh! Sonic Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch. Okay, more home. shit about the leaks coming together. Um... Live fuck, that's something to discuss at the Disney end. And Pixar the wait in this new Army management tactical universe. RPGs set in the Minecraft, Minecraft world is pretty interesting. Switch next year. 
I just wish all these third-party games that have unique environments and blocks and enemies would actually get incorporated into the main series. I don't know, I had enough of Dragon Quest spin-offs with uh, Dragon Quest Builders, which would have been a lot better if they didn't have that 50-room limit before they stopped recognizing Alright, what's your last bit for us? Oh... Is it finally coming? Coming at ya! I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. And today, I'm bringing along an ultra top secret video. I hope you're ready! October 21st. They're finally bringing the main game to Switch. Okay. Persona 5 Royal yep. finally Royal coming to Switch. Switch yes. And that's not all. Let's keep the ball rolling. Oh. On, Teddy. <laughs> right Wait, Teddy. Oh shit, nice Persona. Pass, okay, everyone, check this out. Okay, so four golden is coming too. Holy shit. Okay. That's on a fucking roll. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are also coming. Persona 3 Portable, holy shit. We're getting the whole goddamn collection on here. Okay, uh... Good work, Atlas. Excellent work. That's all for today's okay. Nintendo Direct Mini. That was good. Showcase. That was Thank genuinely good. Now we just gotta hope for that Pokemon news drop tomorrow and a full Nintendo Direct with first party properties coming soon. I really think that Pokemon reveal is coming tomorrow, whether it's a uh, full Pokemon Presents or just some big trailer drops. Either way, we're getting something tomorrow. But for now, this is Envoy of Cairo signing out, and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video. Later!